All right, very briefly, someone tell me how I do part A. Difference of squares? Oh, that is one way to actually do it. Expand x plus 6. OK, so there are two ways that I would think. Um, you can either just expand the x plus 6 squared, or you can think of it as a difference of squares. Um, so I'm going to expand the x plus 6 squares only because I know that most students probably saw that. But Swarnam is correct. Notice that um, x plus 6 squared minus 36, you can factor as a difference of squares. Right? It's x plus 6 minus 6 times x plus 6 plus 6. So it's x times x plus 12. Right. So you can factor as a difference of squares. But let's just do the direct method Let's by just expanding. Okay, so up top I get x squared plus 12x minus, sorry, plus 36, then minus 36. Obviously the, the 36s cancel out here. And then I also have a factor of x, right? So I get x times x plus 12 all up top. x is not equal to zero, so I'm allowed to cancel out. And then I'm left with x plus 12. That's a polynomial, direct substitution property. So I plug in x equals zero. I get zero plus 12. My final answer is 12, done. Now in the last lecture, someone asked, can I just do the derivative of the top and bottom separately and then plug in the number? Um, no, because, so that was, com that's coming from something that was called L'Hopital's rule. And if you've taken calculus in high school, you may have come across L'Hopital's rule. Now, the thing about calculus is, um, especially this course, calculus is not about rules that you just memorize. I mean, there will be some stuff you memorize in this class, don't get me wrong, but it is not just a, a set of rules you memorize and then you just apply the rules blindly and you never understand why these rules work or what you actually are doing. No, in this class, we want to understand what we're doing. We want to build up everything from first principles, right? So there's no such thing as taking the derivative and plugging in zero because you haven't even gotten to the point where you even understand what the derivative is yet, right? We haven't even done limits. So if you've taken calculus, that's great. You'll be at an advantage, but you should forget about everything. Just so you know, please forget about everything you've learned in calculus. Because I also guarantee you that in my experience, half of it is wrong. Half of what you learned or